This is JamiraFan2000 with another episode of JamiraFan Talks About, where I talk about the 25-year musical history of the band Jamiraquai, and today's episode is very special because today we got the second long-form music video for the second video, well, sorry, say the second single from Jamiraquai's upcoming album, Automaton, for the song Cloud Nine. And this music video, which, which originally I was skeptical, would turn out to be a bit of a previous Jamiroquai love philosophy red tread of a music video, turn out to be actually really good. Uh, this video, um, basically, lyrically, uh, Cloud9 is about, is a song, at least to me, about getting over a woman or a lady or a love interest. And this music video really did a great job articulating that. Um, this video had a lot of fast cars, had a club, had a dimly lit club with JK and Monica Cruz dancing and a lot of really good little details. And when you compare and contrast this to the music video for Automaton, uh, Automaton had great little details, like, for example, at the end of the music video, Rogue Android JK goes into the woods and finds the leftover remnants of the Moon Rover, which he drove in the previous Shamir Kwai video for Runaway. Well, this video would end up having some great little details, and here are some of the details that I noticed. Um, the license plates of the cars that Monica and JK respectively drove. If you notice, that JK's license plate said, automaton in the letter conjugation but what was most interesting was the license plate was from the state of California which if you remember the lyric from cloud nine uh, the the lyric Hollywood that is a parallel with the license plates in California also Monica's cars license plate saying cosmic uh, that's cosmic in her being girl and coincidentally uh, where they filmed this music video was where two previous prior Jamiroquai videos were filmed. The music videos for Cosmic Girl and All Right were filmed in Almeria, Spain. So that's another good, great para another great little detail. Um, another great detail, at the end of the music video, when JK comes driving up in his car and comes back up to the other vintage car that she had been driving, he drives up and she's gone. More great lyrical parallels with the song lyrics. He drives up, stops, sees the car's empty, she's gone, and then he just drives away. So just beautiful, beautiful little details. And one last detail I noticed, uh, the part in the music video of Cloud Nine where JK and her are kind of like almost in a race with each other on the coastline of Spain, driving the cars. Notice that his car ends up, uh, most her car ends up outpacing his, driving faster than him. Another bit of a lyrical parallel with Cloud9, and just a great little video. Um, I have read some of the early social media reactions to Atom to Cloud9, I should say, have been kind of mixed. Some of the fans saying it was, some of the old fans saying it's boring and lame and it's just got no story. But as I just articulated, the little details and just the little nuanceable things, the, the little nuanceable oh things, sorry for that sound, all the little nuanceable okay. things about this video makes it so good and so perfect because getting over the automaton music video being just robotic and futuristic and altruistic and then we come to this just simple ballad about heartbreak and leaving a relationship breaking up and a man leaving a girl just perfect perfect music video so that I really really like this cloud nine music video um, for the people who have not seen this new long form music video with JK Monica Cruz the link the link to this music video is it's now up on YouTube so you can check it out there so I put a link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself but it's a really really good music video and I look forward even more expectantly to automaton being yet another great album from Shamiroquai and I'm, I'm sure the fans will show all of their love for this album. I, I have a strong feeling this album's going to be something very, very special. And uh, yeah, it's in, for the people who don't know, Automaton comes out March 31st in the European and Asian market and comes out in the United States April 7th. So if you've not got your pre-orders in, be sure to get your pre-orders in now because this album is going to be awesome. And that's about it for this episode. And I wanted to end this episode with the note that today's my birthday. It's my 40th birthday. Um, and uh, I was nice enough to get a birthday greeting from former Jeremiah yeah. Rekwai bassist uh, Stuart Zender on Facebook, which I was not expecting. So, Stuart, thank you for the lovely uh, birthday greeting. And not to mention the Cloud9 music video got released on my birthday, which was even a bigger unexpected gift for me and all my fellow Jamiroquai fans. So thank you to Jamiroquai and Osola and Derek and Paul and Jay and uh, Rob and Matt for just 
just giving us great, great music this time. It's, it's, I, I'm so happy. As I said to my tweet to the band, uh, I am so happy that 25 years of my 40th birthday were spent listening to the music of Jamiroquai. And this has just been awesome. This whole, this whole Tom Tom album promotion campaign has been so freaking good. Anyway, I'm draw, I am, I'm rambling here. So uh, I hope you enjoy this review. I hope you enjoy the music video, and uh, I'll see you again really soon with another Jamiroquai minute and another episode of Jamiroquai talks about. Bye, everybody.